Hi, welcome back to our video blog where we help you stay informed of real estate trends and topics regarding housing. Today we're here at the Sio Township Fire Department with our expert, Doug Armstrong, to talk about our subject, fire extinguishers. Good morning. Good morning, Doug. Today's topic is fire extinguisher safety, and we are here today to talk with Doug Armstrong of Sio Township Fire Department. Doug, thanks so much for being here today. Oh, you're my pleasure. And this is a fire extinguisher um, that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first question we have is, where should I place a fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher should be placed throughout the house in areas where you're likely to have a fire or where they can be readily accessible as you're exiting the residence. So certainly the kitchen, the bedroom, the hallway, um, in the garage, uh, near a doorway. Um, you want to make sure that you can safely get out of the house in the event that use of the fire extinguisher doesn't take care of the problem. You know, on the holidays it came up for discussion that the fire extinguishers might have a useful life. Is that true? Yes, that is true. This is a commercial fire extinguisher, uh, commonly seen in uh, shopping areas or office buildings. It has a metal top and gets inspected every year by a fire and safety company. Uh, the uh, more residential style uh, fire extinguishers uh, have a, are usually a little smaller. They have a plastic top. Uh, they all have a gauge on them to tell you whether it's fully charged or not. And you want to always check that gauge and make sure that the needle is in the green, indicating that it is in service and ready to go. Recommended life is probably about 10 to 12 years on a fire extinguisher, and you want to make sure that at least once or twice a year, you take the fire extinguisher and actually oh. shake it up. There's a powder in here, and uh -oh. you want, don't want that powder to get caked and dried in one position because then when you go to use it, it will not expel from the fire extinguisher. So when you change your smoke alarm battery, batteries and when you set your clocks back twice a year, just pick up your fire extinguishers and, and shake them a little bit to, to make sure, and then check the gauge and make sure that it is in the green. Because the stuff can evaporate on its own. Well, it, it doesn't evaporate. It, it cakes up inside. The powder gets um, turns into a, more of a solid mass. And then when you squeeze, the propellant will come out, but it won't push out any of the powder. And once you pull a pin and start to use a fire extinguisher, even just a little bit, if you squeeze it and you, you break the seal, the propellant will leak out and that fire extinguisher will no longer work. So once you've done that one time, the fire extinguisher is done. And if it has a plastic top like this, it's disposable. You can't, you can't fill it again. If it has a metal top like the, the commercial ones have, then you can't actually take it apart, take it to uh, a, a fire service company, and they will refill it and put it back in service for you. Well, I'm really excited because I think we're going to get to demonstrate how to use a fire extinguisher. We sure are. We've got a firefighter uh, in his protective gear ready to, to actually show you how they work. Awesome. Great. And Doug, apparently there's four steps to operating a fire extinguisher. Can we go over them before we actually get into the demo? Absolutely. And PASS is the acronym P-A-S-S -S, to make it easy to remember. And so those steps are pull the pin, aim. Squeeze the handle, which starts the flow of, of powder, and then sweeping. And you want to aim at the base of the fire. You may see flames that are tall, but right. you want to aim at the bottom because that's what's going to put the fire out. And so you remember pass, and it'll help you when you go to use the fire extinguisher. So Brian is going to use this, and uh, Brian Cook is going to light. I wonder if a firefighter can start a fire. Probably not. <laughs> there we go. Not really good, is it? So this might be typical of a 
trash can fire that you may experience in your house. And if you see a fire that's small and that in a room that is not full of smoke, not full of heat, and you're at a doorway where if the fire gets worse, you can safely escape, that would be the time to then grab an extinguisher and try to, to put out the fire. So we'll go through the steps, pull the pin, Brian, aim the fire extinguisher, squeeze, and sweep. And again, with a fire extinguisher, once you have pulled the pin and started the process, the fire extinguisher is no good. So you may just, might as well make sure the fire is out by using all of the powder and flooding the whole area. And involve your whole family so that they can learn. Yes, it's, it's, good to, it's good to practice this just so that people aren't afraid to actually do it because we see a lot of fires where people go right past fire extinguishers and just leave the building and leave a small fire, give it time to grow before the fire department can get there. So if it's safe to do so, you certainly can do it, but it is helpful to practice before you have to do it for real. What a great demonstration, and it gives me confidence. Thank you so much, Brian and Brian, and everybody here at the Sio Township Fire Department. And if people have questions, feel free to call the fire station or stop by and, and ask a firefighter, and we're always happy to answer questions and, and review the steps and, and safe use of this equipment. And your phone number? Is 734-665-6001. Thanks again. You're welcome. Great points, Doug. And what type of fire extinguisher should I buy as a homeowner? Well, there definitely are different types of fire extinguishers, so it is important that you have the right kind for the hazards that may be found in the home. Uh, the most common type is one that is rated for A, B, and C type fires. And you'll, you'll note that when you, you look at the fire extinguisher, it'll have the letters A, B, and C, as well as have pictures of what those different types of fires are, A being trash, wood, paper, normal things that, that burn, B being flammable liquids or grease, like a, a kitchen fire or a garage fire that might have gasoline in it, and then C being electrical equipment. If you have a big computer room or, or something with a lot of sensitive equipment, you can get a fire extinguisher specific to just that type of fire. Now, if you get a specific fire extinguisher that only does one type, it won't necessarily work well on another type of fire. So that's why we recommend getting an ABC, because then you're covered for any type of fire. So, and to confirm, once you use it, it's not reusable for the residential properties. Correct. Once, once you first pull the pin and, and make a partial squeeze and, and begin to expel powder, that fire extinguisher, you might as well use the whole thing. Um, because it, it will not be serviceable after that. And then you want to make sure that when you've used it, that you dispose of it properly. So that's not throwing it in the trash, but actually recycling it. And that means taking it to a fire and safety company. And in Sio Township, that would be Spears Fire and Safety. And their phone number is 663-4133. Their and they're at... 287 Jackson Plaza. Right. And so they will recycle fire extinguishers for $6. If you purchase another fire extinguisher from them while you're bringing in your old one, they'll actually waive that charge. Gosh, these are all great points. Doug Armstrong, we are so grateful that you shared this with our consumers. This is good safety information. This is important safety information and part of a fire safety and protection plan that everyone should have in place. Everyone, and thank you again. You're welcome. And as far as real estate goes, please give us a call at 866-OWN-THIS. We are here to help and add value. We can connect you with any realtors around the United States, actually in the world.